All right. So this is a 2009. You might just see that. Anyway, we want it all, but anyway. 2009 Chevy Express 4.8 liter. So this is the original spark plug that was in it. So you can see I tried a few things. That's why you see these little lines across the um threads. Um I was trying to I didn't know what was going on initially. So I was trying to put a washer down over this because I thought it was getting too far in and was just spinning. So apparently it the threads I believe inside the block um, the head should I say uh, this started I could hear look like a, a t tapping noise and apparently this wiggled loose so I checked my plugs and um, found out this one I can't see but it's down here this one right here it's the actual the first one so you ain't bit it's kind of dark down here but um it's the very first one let's see right here the very the first plug on the passenger side and so i tightened it down one day went back in fine no problem boom so probably about a couple of weeks later i i heard the tapping noise again so i said let me check this plug checked it again it was loose again i was like that's weird so I was like, well, maybe the plug, um, I don't know, expanded or maybe, I don't know. Anyway, so I took the plug, I tightened it again, it tightened down. It's okay. Then a couple of weeks later, same thing. So this time I said, well, let me just change the plug. Come to find out when I took the plug out, it wasn't going all the way in as it should have been. So when I put the new plug in, it was just spinning, 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 spinning. So I did a little research, and I figured the threads got bad inside the um, the head. So I went out and got um, where is it? At? Oh, went out and got this, and um, you can see the numbers on this right here, and this is what this is. So um, put these side by side. They kind of like a the same, you know, 14 millimeter threads. I think it's 14 by 1.25. Yeah, 14 by 1.25. And um, and I got some uh, thread inserts, but I have a different tap for that. But this is a thread chaser, so it's supposed to clean the threads out inside. So I'm gonna try this out and see if it works. And in the meantime. Got me a new plug right here. Got a new plug. I'm just gonna see if this works and um, see what we get. Uh, so, let me take this off of here. This is the plug I got. Yeah, so let's go and see if we get. Oh, by the way. Before I put this inside, this um, I'm gonna put some grease on it, so if any threads won't fall down in the cylinder, it'll stick to the grease on the thread chaser. That way, um, I could clean this off. But I'm gonna try to run this through maybe two, three times, and see if what happens. I mean, hey, you know. I'm trying to save me some money. I mean, I, I, I normally fix everything else. So let me see if I can get this one right. All right, so I'm, I'm going to run this in. And I'm going to try to get a picture of this down in this hole. I'm going to get my light and the shine down there so you can kind of see what, what I'm doing. And normally, with this van, you would come from the inside. You know, I, I the first time I tightened it, I took the whole front, you know, uh, all that stuff in the front out. And reach down from the inside of the van to the motor and uh, tighten it. But this time, I mean, it's easier for me to get to this first plug from the outside under the hood. Because it's, you know, I don't feel like taking all that stuff out just to do that. And then, like I said, it's easier to get to this plug from the front. So, um, 
you can see that coil hanging down there. Like I said, it's that, it's that first. Let me see if I can get down here. Anyway, it's that first slot right, right in there. So, but um, yeah. So let me try this and see what we get, and I'll get back with you guys in a minute. All right, as you can see, I put it in, and you can kind of see how far. As, as you can see right here, you can see some of the threads right on the tip. See right there. Let me, put, let me, let me bring this back. So. Right. It's hard to see, but anyway, right there on the tip of this, you can see some pieces of the thread. You can see that. And you can kind of see how far I went down um, with that. I kind of stopped right here. As you can see that it didn't the grease is still kind of clean back here so I went from um, from the, see you see that little tip of thread right here let's see you see how I moved that you see that yeah so it cut through cut me some threads um, so if you use this um, unit you would need to uh, apply some downward force so it can um, get those threads and cut through as I, because when I initially put it in, it was kind of like spinning a little bit, so I put some force behind it, and then it, I could feel it was getting tighter and tighter as I was going deeper and deeper into the um, to the um, head um, of those uh, threads. And like I said, you can see where where I went in at, and kind of where I stopped at, because the grease is still clean toward the back, and it's dirty towards the front. Um, so. Oh my, the airplane. Um, but yeah, so let me uh, put this back in. I'm gonna run, actually, I'm going to run it through one more time. And then I'm going to put the spark plug in and see what we get. All right. All right. So, so what I ended up doing, I had to buy this kit too because the other kit that I had was a thread chaser and it, it cut the, it cut the thread chaser will actually remove any debris inside the, the thread so you can screw your spark plug or whatever you're trying to screw in but I ended up getting um, a, a, a thread um, a tapping tool I ordered this off of Amazon um, I put the um, description I, well, I put a link in the description so y'all can see what it got but um Anyway, as you can see, this one starts off small. Let me put it like this. Anyway, it starts off small at the top, and then it gets wider back here. So it kind of like, it's the size of your spark plug at the beginning right here. And then, so it can give some type of grip to go down into the cylinder. And then, because um, some of them have it where it doesn't even have this... Um, uh, this 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 smaller part, it just has the wire part, so it's hard to get in. So this kind of give it a grip where it pulls it into the cylinder, and then as it goes, you put a little force, and then it gets to the back. So I ended up using about, as you can see, about right there. I kind of went that far down into um my cylinder. So uh yeah so and instead of using this one which when you look at this you know really is but I needed so instead of using this pretty long this this isn't the longest this is the longest here then you got a shorter one up here as you can see the difference I used the short one because I didn't need a whole lot of threads I just needed enough to get this in so it would um go down once I got this down inside the um cylinder with the spark plug on it it was it was it was one shot deal I put this on the spark plug which I already got the spark plug in the car I put this you, you know I showed you how to how it screws on but um screw this on the spark plug I got this from Harbor Freight for two dollars and some change I think it was two twenty nine um got this put a little bit on it on the threads here Put on the spark plug, one shot, boom, put it in, it's screwed in, I tighten it down, I can take it back out. That's it. 
I cranked the van up. No more um, misfiring or cylinder. You know, you know how it sounds. Sound like you, you your muffler gone when the spark plug blow out the hole. But anyway, and getting down and you know this is Chevy Express, so this ain't the easiest. I'm gonna tell you right now, this is definitely not the easiest getting in here. But pretty much, um, it was just working sideways. So working here with the, you know down there and I pushing force this way so I had to push this way and crank at the same time so I ain't have a downward where I can go down you know get get you know if the cylinder is on the top on the top of the um motor is on the side so that was some work but I used some um PB blaster white lithium grease and um I sprayed that on this right here so it can catch some of the shavings which as you can see it goes this thing focused for a second but anyway let's see if I can get this to focus alright yeah as you can see you can see the shavings from the cutting the threads and pretty much that's what I did every time I cut I just caught the shavings and I didn't even blow the cylinder out, man. Like, I ain't gonna lie. I, I cut them threads and put it in there, cranked it up. I'm gonna let this lock thread sit. Keep it moving, man. This van got about 450K on it. So, when I got this van, it only had 200 on it. I don't put 200 and some change. So, you know, either way, if it didn't work, I was gonna buy a new van in a way, but. It worked, so she lives to see another day. But anyway, <laughs> um, this is what I use, so you guys can get an understanding. You know, here we go. Yeah, this is some white lithium grease, and I also uh, got some grease in here too. Um, I used this grease when I first went through with the thread chaser, and then. Um, I just use the white lithium grease. Better for for um, cutting, so you know it easier cuts through the aluminum. But like I said, um, that's it. We back to rolling. Put this back together, and like I said, if this helps you guys, let me know, and please subscribe to the channel. I appreciate you.